all right guys welcome back to the channel this is the short video showing you about how to upload your gis data or shape file to the postgres sql database with post gis extension so basically after uploading you can view it as a geometry and basically there are multiple ways to upload your shape file to the geo uh, postgres sql database so one is using shape file to post pg sql command line so it comes from postgres command line so if you install the database you will get this utility for free and another one is using OGR to OGR command line. Basically, once you install ZDAL, this command line will be automatically added to your uh, environment. And another one is using PG admin interface. So this is the most basic common way to upload your C file to the Geo database. So you will get this kind of interface. And another one is using QGIS. Of course, using QGIS, you can connect and then um, upload your data to the Geo database. And another one, my favorite one is using Python. So basically using GeoPanda, SQL Alchemy and PostGIS. So we can simply upload our data to the uh, Postgres SQL database. But definitely, um, since we i'm going to show you like using python option but if you are interested in any other utilities just let me know in the comment section so that i can make video on those topic so basically just to upload uh, to upload your shape file to the postgres database you need to create extension for postgis and after that you need to install the python dependencies uh, such as like geopandas and sql alchemy as i uh, said you before and then uh, you just need to run the Python code and that's the uh, final step. And using these three steps, you will uh, upload your shape file to the Postgres SQL database. So let's get started. All right, so let's go one by one. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that uh, you install the PostGIS extension. So basically in order to check that, open your stack builder. And then uh, in this tab, so uh, you toggle on the uh, spatial extension and make sure you check this PostGIS 3.5 or whatever version you have. And then you just need to click next, next, and then uh, just install it uh, as a PostGIS extension. For me, I already done it, so I'm going to close it. And after that, if you open up the uh, Postgres PG admin, so basically you can create your own database. For me, let me create uh, the database name as Geo. And after that, uh, maybe I'll show you like uh, how it looks like. Uh, basically, uh, in the query builder, uh, you also need to initiate your PostGIS extension. But before that, uh, let me show you how it looks like in the public schema. So in the table pane, uh, you won't get anything. That means you don't have PostGIS extension. So in order to install it, you need to write create extension PostGIS and run it. So basically, it will create the another table called spatial ref system. So basically, if you want to see the result, then click this option uh, button and then you will see different EPST code. That means uh, your uh, PostGIS extension is installed successfully inside your like Geo database. All right, so maybe uh, now I think I can go to the next step, which is about installing Python dependencies such as GeoPandas. In order to do that, I created this pyprose.tml file. And basically it's the it's similar to readme, uh, sorry, requirement.txt file. So basically it has these dependencies and uh, you can simply install these using UV package manager. So yeah, there are few additional packages as well. Don't worry, uh, in future video, I'm going to use those packages, but for now, uh, let's install UV first and then uh, install all the dependencies, whatever you need. So in order to install UV, you need to type pip install UV and it will simply install the UV package manager. For me, it's already um, satisfied. 
so it's not going to install anything and after that um, we need to create the virtual environment so it's quite easy with uv uh, so you just need to write uv uh, vnv and it will create dot vnv folder and this is your virtual environment and in order to activate i'm going to um, simply going inside script and activate and uh, you'll see that in the uh, beginning of our command prompt that means uh, it's installed successfully all right so now the next step is to install the dependency so it's quite e easy with uv so simply you need to write uv sync and then it will automatically install all the dependencies and after that uh, you will like simply get the uv.log file uh, basically that will tell you um, all the like dependencies um, I mean sub dependencies that required to run those packages defined inside pyprose.2ml file all right so the now the other step is to like write the actual upload uh zip file uh python file so in order to do that simply write upload ssp.py and then maybe copy and paste the code and here uh, basically this is the simple python code just to upload your zip file or any geo database um, geo geo file to the uh, postgres sql database first we need to import these two packages geo pandas and sql alchemy um, thing and then uh, inside main folder so i'm simply printing hello world and then i'm pointing it the data path so basically if i show you the uh, maybe the path to this data so you will understand so basically here uh, okay so this is the usa population dot ssp file i have and then i'm simply getting the path using like right clicking and then copy is path option all right so that's my path and then my connection string of course you need to write postgres sql uh, colon slash slash and then this is my username for my database and then this is password and this is the host and port so basically local host colon 5432 and then last one could be database name so i'll change it to geo that's my database name um yeah that's the name so we created just a few minutes before and after that i'm going to read my file is a geo database and then i'm going to create the engine using connection string and then simply gdf.2 post gis uh, using this command so i'll simply upload it as a us population table so my table name will be us population and then i pass the engine uh, and then i'll pass also if exist so if basically if that name is already exists simply uh, this will replace my data there are multiple uh, options for example either you can append or raise an issue if there is same table it's up to you and after that i print the message data uploaded successfully and after that i run this uh, file so basically if name equal to main so basically i run that function and then uv run um, whatever my function name upload ssp.py to simply upload it to the postgis database so yeah it might take some time to uh, like actually run this command uh, but yeah uh, it might like take less than 10 seconds in general all right so it print hello from python and then now data uploaded successfully so now our data is uploaded successfully in order to see these changes so i'm going to open the pg admin and then if i refresh it i'll see the another table called us population and uh, in order to see all the rows i'm going to click this button and then i'll see all the rows either you can like uh, write your actual query select a strict from public.us population so it will also print out the same thing and after that um, the scroll to geometry column and then once you click on that icon and uh, you'll get the actual shape file uh, in the geometry viewer and then uh, if you click on any of this polygon you will see the result associated with that geometry 
and yeah so that's all about like uploading your shape file or geo database uh geo geo file to the uh, postgres sql database so basically there are multiple ways as i said before let me know in the comment section if you want want me to like create a video regarding these topics or let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite tool and why and yeah that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next thank you for watching